Katie. What a boring background. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sitting on my bed on the floor. This is boring. This is real boring. You know what I think I should do? When I'm done with my sticker books, I should take each picture and just like hang them up. But for now, this is my background. I'm sorry. Do I have, here, like. Did this help? There we go. Anyway, hi guys. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up next week or week and a half, week and a half, 10 day, nine, nine days. And honestly, I've always had a weird relationship with Valentine's Day. Um, when I was younger, I liked it, you know, cause like my family celebrated, like my mom and I would celebrate, we'd buy each other little things or write each other cards or whatever. Um, and then when I started dating, when I was, you know, like 18, 19, I think my first Valentine's Day I ever had with a boyfriend, I went to a matchbook romance concert, I think. <laughs> I also had a Valentine's Day once with a boyfriend in like my mid to late 20s where we went to a concert and when we were walking outside, someone thought that we were twins. Someone literally asked us if we were twins on Valentine's Day. Um, and then I've had Valentine's Day like with friends and stuff, you know? Um, but now that I'm older, a lot of you guys know if you've watched a lot of my videos that I don't celebrate a lot of holidays. Um, I think some holidays are over exaggerated and it definitely can if we allow it it can make us feel bad about ourselves. You know, especially Valentine's Day, if you are not married or not in a committed relationship, or if your relationship's not great, Valentine's Day can make you feel worse about it. And it's just so unnecessary, but it just, but it happens. It just does happen sometimes that, you know, social media or mainstream media or our culture can kind of make us feel bad about not being in a relationship, which I think is so messed up because even biblically, we don't need to be in relationships to be whole. You know what I mean? We don't need to be in a relationship to be happy. We don't need to be in a relationship to go on that trip or to buy that thing or any anything like that. We don't need to be in a relationship. If you want it and that's what's in your heart and you think that that's what God wants for you, then yeah, that's awesome to strive for it. But it's not like being in the relationship is going to be the only thing that matters in your life or the only goal you have, you know? There's things that we can do on our own and there's ways to love ourselves on our own. And uh, so I feel like, you know, there's gonna be tons of videos out about Valentine's Day that they're talking about, you know, what my boyfriend got me or what I'm buying for my husband for Valentine's Day and all that kind of stuff. And that's great, you know, that's great if you wanna celebrate love, but I'm one of those people that if I love someone, I wanna celebrate that love every day. You know, it's kinda of like Christmas. I don't really love celebrating Christmas because in my head, I wanna celebrate Jesus every day. And so having just one day, yeah, that's fine. If that's what you like, that's great. You know, if you love Valentine's Day, that's great. But if Valentine's Day kinda of makes you a little depressed or a little like sad or a little, um, you know, like, oh, well, why don't I have someone who loves me? God loves you and that's all you actually need. And I love you and hopefully, you can learn to love yourself because then you realize that on days like Valentine's Day, you're like, all right, cool. Even if I'm single or even if I'm with someone and the relationship's rocky or even if it's great, like I still love myself and that's what's most important and God loves me and that's what's most important, you know? Um, and so I just wanted to, I have some notes on my phone. Um, like I always do, not always, sometimes. So really what I wrote, some of this is gonna be a repeat from what I just said, but being single is not a bad thing. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I may have had lipstick on my teeth. I have like four <laughs> lipsticks on. <laughs> Being single is not a bad thing, even though our society tries to say it is. Marriage is not actually for everyone, just like grad school is not for everyone. Having kids is not for everyone, and liking pineapple on pizza is not for everyone. If marriage is on your heart and God wants it for you, then that's great to strive for it. However, it's important to still live now, whether you're single or in a relationship. Don't wait around for people, and don't let society convince you that you're not good enough or that you'd be better if someone was in love with you. You can be fully you, single or not. And you can do whatever you want, single or not. So if you wanna go on that trip, go. You can ask your significant other or your friends, but if they don't wanna go, don't let that stop you. You know, don't let, oh, well, maybe I'll do that when I'm dating someone. Maybe I'll do that when I'm married. Maybe I'll receive that gift if I date someone, you know? No, don't let any of that stop you. Go on that trip, go to that restaurant you've been wanting to try, go watch that movie, go buy yourself that present. Get dressed up even to hang out at home by yourself because you're an incredible person and you're loved whether you're in a relationship or not. And so if you're alone on Valentine's Day, that's okay. It's okay because you're still you, you're still awesome. 
and you still have a lot going for you even if you don't have uh, anyone you know special in your life is how they try to say it but if you do that's also awesome you know but it's not the only thing that defines you that's all I want to just remind you that you know however on top of all of that that reminder of just you are awesome whether you're in a relationship or not and you are you whether you're in a relationship or not on top of that you still might want to celebrate Valentine's Day you still might like all the hearts and all the red and the pink and you might like to be romantic even if you're by yourself you can be romantic to yourself you know you can take yourself out to eat or you can make yourself a nice dinner and have a bottle of wine by yourself or with your roommate or with your friends you know you can celebrate this kind of stuff on Valentine's Day or literally any other day of the year. So if you wanna treat yourself to something nice, if you wanna buy yourself something nice, if you wanna make yourself a nice dinner, you don't need a special occasion to do that. I'm such a firm believer in that. You know, for example, I love champagne. I love champagne. And a lot of people see champagne as, you know, New Year's, uh, you know, maybe an anniversary, um, and that's when you have champagne. I like it, so I'm gonna drink it whenever I want it. You know, I'm just one of those people, if you wanna celebrate love, do it whenever you want. If you wanna have a glass of champagne, do it whenever you want. And if you wanna buy yourself something, then go do it. You know, maybe save up, you know, make sure that you have the money. But I just think that it's so important to not get like held down by society standards and society norms, you know? But anyway, so now that we're 45 minutes into the video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about if you do wanna celebrate Valentine's Day, whether you're single or not, some fun things, uh, especially if you're either single or you're going to be by yourself. Um, I wanted to just tell you a couple things that might be fun. So the first one, first one. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the last six months or so, I've been getting more into jewelry um, and I've been liking jewelry a lot more. I've been wearing a lot more jewelry than I used to um, and I've liked, you know, layering and trying out all new like trendy things and classic things. And a company that I mentioned in a video a few months ago and I've been wearing their jewelry almost every day since then is Ana Luisa. They're based out of New York and it's all the jewelry that I'm wearing right now. And so this is the Everly ring, which I have also in the, can you focus please? Hello. There we go. I love, I love, 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 love this ring. I also have the wide version. This is just like the regular and they have a wide one as well for more like a statement piece. This is the curb chain necklace and it says BU. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Maybe I'll do a close up, but it says BU on it, which I think is just so good. Like be yourself. Don't let other people affect who you are. It's still a classic chain, I would say, um, but it has a little bit of, you know, personality to it. And then both pairs of earrings. Did you guys know that I have a second in my ear? I do. <laughs> Both pairs of earrings that I'm wearing are Ana Luisa as well. These are the Venus hoops and these are the mini huggy hoops. And they're high quality, but their prices are pretty low. They actually start at $39, which is like super incredible. But what I love about their jewelry, and if you go to their website, they have such classic pieces, like these that I'm wearing. Then they have some, you know, a little bit more standout pieces. So no matter what you're in the market for, they probably have something that you would like. They make great gifts. I've literally gotten, I think, two pieces for my mom and one for my stepmom over the last couple years, because um, I've heard about them years ago. And they're carbon neutral, which I think is very cool. Um, and they make their jewelry in small batches, so that quality control is a little bit better, you know? And I just love these pieces. Seriously, I have been wearing, because I got the Everly Wide Ring a couple months ago, and I've worn it almost every single day. Um, if you guys have seen, I have like small twist hoops that I wear a lot as well. Those are Ana Luisa too. And so right now, they have a sale going on, 15% off their whole website. I'll have all the links in my description. And so if you're curious, if you're in the market for jewelry, again, if you want to buy your mom a present, cool. But if if you want to just buy yourself something, if you do not want to wait around for someone to buy you some nice jewelry, you can buy it yourself. Um, and so I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video and just give me an opportunity to talk about Valentine's Day and that you can love yourself and you can buy yourself stuff, you know? So yeah, all the links will be in my description. Again, they're having a sale. It's a Valentine's Day sale right now, 15% off. Um, all the links will be in my description. This lighting is getting very nice. The windows right there, I'm kind of into it. I feel like I don't even need like a cool background because I just have these lights. So anyway, another thing on Valentine's Day, I don't know maybe exactly on Valentine's Day, but maybe a day around it um, that I might do is go out to eat by myself. And it depends where you live. Obviously some restaurants are open, some are not, um, but even getting takeout by yourself or just making yourself a really nice meal. I know a lot of people don't really feel comfortable going out to eat or going to the movies, again, depending on the time, but you know, going somewhere by themselves. But honestly, depending who you are, you might do it. You might go out to eat by yourself and then realize, you know what? Hey, that actually was pretty nice. 
it was pretty nice. You could bring a book, you could bring a sticker book, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. You could just have your phone, or you could just sit there. You could people watch. You could really focus on your food, you know? It's one of those things that I learned a lot with all the traveling that I've done, that I've gone out to eat by myself a million times, whether it's at In-N-Out Burger, which is about a million times, um, or actual restaurants. I've been to a ton of restaurants by myself. And it goes with that whole idea that I think a lot of us, you know, worry about what other people think or worry about what society is saying about our lifestyle or what society's opinion about our lifestyle is. But in reality, it matters what we think and what God thinks, you know? And so if you want to go out to dinner and you know, you ask a couple people and they don't wanna go, then go, you know, go. If you wanted to try this restaurant forever, go. If you wanted to see this movie forever, go. Again, if you feel safe, depending where you are, depending what day you're watching this. Um, but you know, rent a movie by yourself, cook a really nice meal at home and get a $30 bottle of wine. I don't know if I've ever had a $30 bottle of wine. That sounds so expensive to me. I'm like a $10 bottle of wine girl, but you know what I mean? Like you can do all these nice things with a friend, with a family member or by yourself, you know, or with your stuffed animals. And again, some people, and I know I'm gonna probably get comments here, are gonna say, no, that's weird. I don't care. And you shouldn't either. If you wanna hang out with your stuffed animals and have a glass of wine and watch a movie, that could be a really, really, really good night instead of just waiting for something to happen. You know, if you're always waiting, it's probably never gonna happen. There's exceptions to that. You know, if it's like, oh, my boyfriend's sick, so we're gonna go tomorrow, that's different. But if you're just waiting, for opportunities or waiting for people to ask you or anything like that, then you're not giving yourself enough credit to actually go and do the things that you wanna do because you can, you're capable of that. Um, and it might feel weird at first, you know, to travel alone or go out to eat alone or anything like that. But once you realize that society does not actually dictate what you do, you can have more fun. You can do more things, you know? Okay, I feel like I need to move over now because <laughs> it might be, what is that on my backpack? Um, it might be a little, oh, how? <laughs> okay, um, another thing that I will actually probably be doing on Valentine's Day. You guys know, you guys know, my sticker books. I love them so much. <laughs> They're like my favorite thing that I discovered, when was this, a few months ago? Um, this was one of my favorite ones, the brain games. Oh, if, if you haven't seen my videos where I've mentioned them, because I've mentioned them maybe three or four times, um, essentially they are like paint by number books, but they're stickers instead of painting, um, which I love. Like I have always liked crafty things, but honestly, this is one of my favorite crafty things besides crocheting that I've found in a while. There's a lot of, I know you can't see, but the glare's going on my floor and it looks very cool. <laughs> anyway, this is one of my favorite ones. I got this at Walmart. This was the first one I ever purchased. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And then I became obsessed. Um, this is the Brain Games sticker by letter in the wild. And so this one is a bunch of animals. I've already completed this whole book. Look how cute. I think that these are just so cute. And these, a lot of them are like these mosaic-y ones and I think they just look so cool. But a new one that I got like a week or two ago is the Brain Games uh, sticker by letter Ocean Fun. Um, and this one just has, you know, ocean animals. So the only one that I've done so far is this guy. Look how cute. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute that it like hurts my feelings, you know? Um, but I think that's the only one I've done so far in this one. So there's like sharks, this guy these guys um yeah so this is just again like it's so important whether you're in a relationship or not that is not the only thing that defines you it can be one of the most important parts of your life but it cannot be the only thing that defines you i've done that before i've been in relationships before where i just let that completely define me and i lost myself in relationships. I've done that in the past. But even when you're in a relationship, you have to still know yourself and still care about yourself and still love yourself because that's what's so important. And so having your own hobbies or things that you like to do, um, seriously, this glare right now. <laughs> I get very easily entertained, guys. I really do. The whole point of this video is not to say that relationships suck or anything like that. It's just to remind you that if you're not in one, or even if you are in one, that loving yourself and taking care of yourself is really, really important. And so I hope that Valentine's Day is not going to be a day that brings you down because it can. 
It can, it has with me before. Um, holidays in general have brought me down before. They can, you know, add to depression and add to anxiety and add to, oh, I'm not good enough because I'm not with someone. But that's not really how we should gauge ourselves. We should gauge ourselves on how kind we are, how ambitious we are, how hardworking we are, how loving we are. You know, that's how we should gauge ourselves. Not if some guy wants to commit to us or not. You know, that's again, a great thing, but it's not how we should define ourselves. And so if you have that, awesome. You know, like if you're in a good relationship, that's incredible. But I just still hope that that's not the only reason that you're happy because there should be different parts of you. There should be different things that you have going on. There should be different things that you wanna be learning and doing. And so yeah, just on a day like Valentine's Day, especially depending who you follow on Instagram, if you follow on YouTube or TikTok or whatever, there you know, are a lot of couples and it's easy to get jealous. It's easy to want what they have. But also remember that what you see is probably not the whole story, you know? This lighting is getting horrific. I'm just gonna end the video in a second. Um, but I just wanna remind you guys that I love you and that loving yourself and knowing that God loves you is what's important. And so also, if you have stuffed animals to hang out with you, then you're never alone. <laughs> So anyway, I think that that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope that we can just connect in ways like this, you know, um, and that you don't feel lonely because loneliness sucks. But I hope that even if you're single and you don't have a lot of friends, I don't have a lot of friends. I know a lot of people, but I don't have a lot of friends either, you know, but I have myself, I have God. I have biscuit and cornbread and I have my sticker books. And that's not sad. You know, if someone is gonna put you down for something that you enjoy or a hobby that you have, that's on them, not on you. That's on them being insecure or, or jealous or something, you know, but if you enjoy something, do it. And that's great. That's great. You know, like be secure in what you like, be secure in yourself. And I know that it can be really, really hard. And so if you guys want me to talk more about this kind of stuff, I'd be glad to, but if not, I understand that too. Um, but I just wanted to say, you know, happy Valentine's day a week early again, whether you're single or not happy Valentine's day, because it's just another day that you're alive. And that's really, really incredible that we have another day that we can wake up and that we can breathe and that we can spread joy and that we can spread kindness in any way possible. And so, you know, if that's what Valentine's day is to you, if it's just another Sunday, just another day in February, you might still wanna buy jewelry and do a sticker book, you know? And don't forget that Anna Luisa is having their Valentine's Day sale right now, 15% off everything on their site. So if you're interested in anything that I'm wearing or anything else that they have on their site, the link is in my description. And so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram as well. And I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I just kicked the thing that my camera's on. <laughs> I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Say bye, guys.